Coming to you live from the overused comedic zoom in my garage. Welcome to the 10th ever episode of Alpha Mail. Ooh, double digits. Where I open up all the mail that you guys have sent to me. Today's going to be a special packages only episode of Alpha Mail because I have got a lot of packing to do tonight. I'm going off to Kentucky for that mission trip I always go on. But first, let's address the horribly green screened elephant in the room. Here we have the prize. Oh, jeez. There are so many mosquitoes in here. Here we have the prize for this year's duck drawing competition or... I mean, this hoodie and t-shirt sales duck drawing competition. It's one of my famous custom-built cajones valued at over $200. If you guys don't know what a cajon is, basically it is a portable acoustic drum set. So you've got the bass down here, you've got the snare hit up here, and you've got the high notes on the corners. The reason it sounds so much like a drum and not like you're hitting just a wooden box is because it has snare wires on the inside. I actually have a whole entire build video on these things. But yeah, as far as cajones go, this is a very nice one. It's also pretty nice that since I made it, I got to sign the bottom of it. Not like I'm famous or something, but I don't know. I thought it was a nice touch. So congratulations to anybody who bought a hoodie or a t-shirt, not just because you have a really cool hoodie or a t-shirt now, but you get to enter into the duck drawing competition to win this cajon. There's no age limit on this one because I don't think you need to be of consenting age to own Cajon. But just draw the very best duck that you can put on your hoodie or your t-shirt Take a picture of yourself and tag me in it on Instagram at ZNotAlpha And you will immediately be entered into the drawing for the cajon The winner of it will be announced in two weeks from this day But enough talk, let's get to some packages All these kahunas are pretty similarly sized So I don't think it matters all that much This one right here is obviously the biggest kahuna of all the kahunas I'll set that aside Package number one is from Andre Marchuk I have absolutely heard that in at least the last episode. I got a new knife, by the way. You guys like it? <laughs> oh, sweet. It's um one of those little tea guys that you put on the edge of your cup. That's funny. It's like a pig, but his head is a suction cup. Is there like a head in there? Okay, we... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Wow, that is really cool. A little lanyard. Okay, you can't really use it with a lantern, but yeah, it's just like a little claw thing. That's pretty cool. I still just want to figure out what the heck this thing is, though. Is that it? Oh, speaking of my forehead, I was thinking, uh, since everybody loves looking at my forehead so much, maybe I can start advertising on my foreheads. Like, if, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm obviously not gonna take, like, all requests, but I don't know, maybe if people are willing to pay me, I can start, like, putting billboards on my foreheads. I'm sure no one will accuse me of selling out at that point. All right, ooh, I got <laughs> a dollar. This better not say boner on it. <laughs> Buy yourself a Rolex. Well, thank God it's just a normal dollar. All right, this seems like the type of thing that I think is funny right now, but then I'm gonna be in Kentucky on a mission trip and it's gonna look like I'm just a super exaggerated Hindu. You're very good at recreating that face right there. A little too good. Hey Eli, thanks for all the video. You give me a reason to live. Oh, that's a little too far. Haha <laughs> JK, PS, enjoy the presence. Oh wow, this is me. Nice job. Maybe I'll just move this around. It definitely helps that I'm really slimy right now because of the humidity. It is excellent for sticking little black pigs to your face. All right, thanks for the stuff, Andre. This one is from Timothy Curvin. Hmm. Hmm. That's cool. Seems like some stuff you could like stick in your lawn next to like some uh, some garden gnomes or something. That well, that might be a little morbid. I don't know. Maybe. You could... Is this blasphemy? Cause he's like straight chilling right there. He's supposed to be sitting in some nice hot tea. I don't know, no disrespect, Big J. Dear Eli, my name is Timothy Curvin. I'm 16, I live in Center, Alabama. First off, I think all the things you know how to do are amazing. So many people sit around and waste the talent God gave them, but not you. The passion you have for your work is unbelievable and it is inspiring to so many people. I'm really glad it is, guys, because between you and me, I've been kind of struggling recently. You might be able to tell from like my upload schedule, but it's been a little tough. I. I never thought the day would come, but I am sort of running out of ideas. I, I have I have times like this every so often, and then out of nowhere I'll just have like a huge rush of creativity, but recently it's just been kind of tough. Uh, but I'm glad that at least some people haven't been able to notice it, and that the videos have still been encouraging to you guys. But yeah, if there's some stuff that you guys want to see, I... 
please don't ask me to do the crossbow, guys. I know I I know, I've still today, Junior. I still do plan on finishing it, but geez, I I am so entirely tired of the concept i just i have absolutely no desire to do it so i mean go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to make but please don't ask me to do the crossbow i i'm really milking that comedic zoom huh i know it's like ooh, he's self-aware he knows he does it too much but I, should i just I don't know. I feel led to tell you that you need to keep going. Keep using your God-given gift. Keep inspiring people. When things get tough, remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And always remember Matthew 5.16. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I think of you when I hear that verse. Just keep going, Eli. Keep letting God lead you uh, and thank God for what he has given you. And I thank him for giving us you. God bless you, Eli. Sincerely, Timothy Kerbin. I actually really do appreciate that, Timothy. Thank you for that. And jokes aside, these things may be pretty simplistic, but I've always been a fan of minimalistic stuff. And I like the leather wrap on it too. It makes it look sort of Native American. It's just pretty cool stuff. Thanks a bunch for the letter, Timothy. This one's a little squished, but I think it's just candy in there, so I think it's probably fine. Classic, classic. Mmm. It says Sour Patch Kids but why do they look weird? The natural confectionery. Are these like special Sour Patch Kids that are like only made with natural ingredients or something? The consistency is a lot different than the normal ones. Wow, these are a lot better than the normal ones. And I'm not saying that just cause, like they're genuinely a whole lot better. What the heck? Then we have soda pop flavor ones. Brown, is there root beer? What the heck? That literally tastes exactly like a Coke. It That's freaking weird. It's like 100% dead on. That's crazy. Let's see if I can guess what this one is. I'm gonna guess Sprite. Ooh, it just tastes like lemon. Oh, okay. Lemonade, cola, tropical, and apple fizz. Ooh. They're all freaking good. Then he gave me some sour Skittles. I'm pretty sure everybody's had some of these at some point. I'm gonna see if they're different than the normal ones since they came from... Dang, they came from New Zealand. So they had a Bilbo for me. They say sour Skittles, but they look like the normal Skittles. But there's definitely some sour stuff going on on the inside. That's so weird that they do them different like that. Here in America, they're like normal Skittles, except the outside is coated in like sour powder. I don't know which one I would like better. I'm not a gigantic fan of sour Skittles, but, but it's candy and you know I don't discriminate. Was there a letter in there? Oh. To Eli, my mom's writing this letter to you because my writing is very hard because I'm dyslexic. Oh. I'm very interested in what you do and I've made a few weapons myself. I enjoyed watching your videos as they calm me down whenever I am angry or stressed. I'm 13 years old. My primary school was a Catholic school. School is very difficult for me because I also have ADHD as well as being dyslexic. I'm from New Zealand. Here's some Sour Patch Kids and my personal favorite Sour Skittles from your Kiwi Fan? Fen? From your Kiwi Fan? Fen? Fawn? I don't really know, but thanks a lot. It really means a lot that you, even though you have these uh, setbacks, you still chose to go ahead and do something like this to uh, encourage me. Trust me, it worked. It really worked. There's some people who will literally just send me an email and be like, Hey, could you read this in alpha mail? I was gonna send a letter, but I'm, I'm too lazy. Really? Let me teach you a little something about me right now. I... I'm a pretty tolerant guy, but I am not very tolerant of people just being content with being lazy. That is just not an attractive thing to me. Don't feel bad if you're a person that sent the email like that, but it's, don't, just don't really expect to have it on um, alpha male, sorry. But thanks a lot, dude. I don't see your name anywhere on here, but uh, you know who you are. This one is from DJ or AJ Juarez from Arizona. Man, I love this knife. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, off to a good start. You guys really know how to show a guy you want to give him diabetes. Dear Eli, my name's AJ. Okay, it was AJ. I really enjoy your videos. I started by watching your lawnmower blade spear thing. It was really cool, so I watched a few more and was like, holy jeez, this guy is good. You're really creative and funny, and you've inspired me to do what you do, but I'm super lazy. I'm a 15-year-old freshman in high school. I hope your YouTube career goes really well. Thanks, bro. P.S. Do you think I could buy one of those paracord whips? I'd do it myself, but I'm very lazy. 
<laughs> it's pretty funny how I keep on <clears throat> saying stuff and then I'll open the letter and it has something to do with what I just said. First of all, I don't even really know how to make the paracord whip as you saw in the video. It was my friend Ben who made the whole entire thing. I don't, I don't remember anything about it. I'm not really sure if he sells whips, but if he did, it would be pretty expensive, I would say, because it takes just so long to make. I'm not really sure. I guess I could ask him about it. PPS, hashtag feel the burn. Wow, a, uh, a lazy Bernie supporter, huh? That's, uh, unique. PPPS, enjoy the candy. Thank you. I, I will enjoy the candy, and I respect you. One final thank you for providing me with this candy created by a uh, capitalist organization that employs very many people and spreads happiness all over the world. I hope someday soon you learn to appreciate the value of a good hard day's work. Thanks for the stuff, AJ. This one is from Evan. All right, so we got a theater box of Sour Patch Kids. Ooh, these are, I think, uh, chain mail rings. Wow. <clears throat> he sent me a bunch of them. Oh wait, no, this might actually just be chain mail. Whoa, ooh, perfect. Whoa, that is cold. <laughs> okay, so these actually are just chain mail rings. We have a letter here. Shoot. Dang, so this dude made a full, what is this called? I don't know, chain mail shirt, chain mail sweater, chain mail cardigan. Wow, that that is really impressive. That must have taken forever, dude. To Eli, quick side note, I didn't write dear because I didn't want to sound creepy and I typed this out because my handwriting is horrible. Although I'm not really into the whole zombie apocalypse thing, I have always found your videos very inspiring and entertaining, especially the armor videos you've made. In fact, Homemade Weapons Part 2 was one of the things that inspired me inspired me to start making armor about five years ago. I have no idea how Homemade Weapons 2 could inspire anybody to do anything. Wow, basically he's asking, ow, he's asking me to test this stuff out with some of my weapons. I almost don't want to because it looks so good and it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. But I mean, I guess if this is just what you do and, and you're fine with me doing it, I, I guess I'll test it out. He said that he included the rings here so that I can make repairs on it in between tests. Yeah, dude, I'll test it out. It seems like it's what you want. That's crazy. He's saying that the shirt that he's made so far contains approximately 13,000 rings and it weighs about 41 pounds. He spent about 340 hours on it so far. It's paying off, dude. It looks really good. Well, thanks, dude. I appreciate it and I will get that test out as soon as I actually can. All right, it's kind of a weird moment because this is the biggest kahuna of all the kahunas, but it's actually a pretty, not, not that big kahuna. We'll see what's inside. It actually feels pretty empty. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Got a bunch of gumballs, more gumballs, and a pepper grinder. Is that what this is? Wait, there's like a metal thing in here. I'm scared to touch anything because I'm scared something's gonna like shoot out. Two ZNA Alpha, which is Z not Alpha Alpha. Thank you for your instructional videos. They have brought project ideas for my son and I to do together. He loves the PVC bows we made together. Finally, uh, I can get him away from that dang game system. <laughs> this is a tire thumper I have sent you. Not intended as a weapon. It is an emergency window breaker and its base is generally used by truckers to gauge the tire pressure and durability. So I just whack a tire and break a window. It is one of the many projects that my father and I do on the lathe. Thanks again, uh, the winter night. <coughs> That's pretty cool, and we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Wow, I can't believe it, I'm alive. All right, looks like that's all for this alpha male. It seems really, really short with uh, not reading the letters in the beginning, but that's good because I have to drive for like nine hours tomorrow. Probably good that I get some sleep tonight. Remember to enter the duck drawing competition if you got your hoodie or your t-shirt. That's about all I got for today, guys. I will see all you crimpy glimmers on the triode flipping the diode. See ya. Just kidding, watch this. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and we're gonna be doing a collaboration with Zednot Alpha. This is some of the stuff we've done in the past.
So obviously, we're gonna build something awesome together, but we need your help. What do you think we should make? Let us know in a comment below, and don't forget to check out my channel. This is just the beginning.